Welcome to the 2021 Sony World Photography Awards. This is one of the most important photography awards, bringing together photographers from across the globe, celebrating the power of the photographic image. It gives us a window on the world's beauty, diversity, and challenges. Over the last few months, our judges have looked through over 330,000 entries from 220 territories in 15 categories. Under normal circumstances, we'd all be celebrating together, but since we're unable to do that, we're presenting the awards at this virtual ceremony. Over the next half hour, I will be revealing which amazing photographers have won this prestigious trophy starting with the youth competition. The youth competition is open to 12 to 19 year olds and aims to encourage the next generation of photographers. They're tasked with submitting up to three images relating to specific monthly themes. And as you can see from the entries, there's a wealth of exciting new talent out there. I'm extremely delighted to reveal that the 2021 Youth Photographer of the Year is Poobaran Basu from India. Congratulations, Poobaran. 19 year old Poobaran won with this dramatic image called No Escape from Reality, which he entered in response to the theme of composition and design. Thank you, Sony World Photography Awards and World Photography Organization, for this incredible honor. I am truly humbled to have received the Youth Photographer of the Year 2021 title. I am really grateful to my family, my friends, my Guruji and my well wishes for their continuous love and support. Thank you all. The student competition recognizes the emerging talents who will soon be shaping the photography industry. It exemplifies Sony's and the World Photography Organization's commitment to supporting photography in an academic environment. This year's brief, titled Our Time, challenged photographers to tell the story of individuals and groups working towards a better future. More than 300 academic institutions worldwide were invited to nominate their most promising photography students, asking them to submit a series of five to 10 images in response to a brief. From these submissions, just 10 incredible images were shortlisted. And I can now reveal that the winner of the 2021 Student Photographer of the Year is Kunrad Torleha for the Stellenbosch Academy of Design and Photography, South Africa. Kunrad Torleha won for his project Young Farmers, which looks at the contributions made and the challenges faced by South Africa's next generation of farmers. To know what South Africans are going through, so farming South Africans and, and what it's like to farm here with the drought, unpredictable climate, it, it makes it difficult. But I also want to capture those moments where, you know, you see the positive in it as well. What stood out with these photographs was they were technically very, very well composed. And he thought about how best to tell the stories from the perspective of, of those really looking to create a sustainable agricultural future. We have a responsibility to capture these moments, to tell these stories and to document them as moments in history so that we can keep them going forth and we can learn from them. This has been an unforgettable experience. To be a finalist in the Sony World Photography Awards was a dream come true and to win like nothing I could ever imagine. It would not have been possible without everyone who supported and accompanied me on this journey and the Lord who led me through this process. This coveted award elevates Torlahar's work to global notice and secures Sony photography equipment worth 30,000 euros for his institution. A single photograph has the power to inform, provoke and alter perceptions. The open competition calls on established and emerging photographers from a vast range of backgrounds to submit their most striking single images into one of just 10 categories. 
The shortlisted images were of an exceptional quality, rich and varied in their brilliance, celebrating the democratic nature of photography. Selected from more than 165,000 single images, I'm thrilled to announce that the 2021 Open Photographer of the Year is Tamari Kudita from Zimbabwe. Congratulations to you. Tamari Kudita won for her outstanding portrait titled African Victorian, which depicts an empowering image about female identity. Let's find out more about Tamari and her work. My work is a visual depiction of oral history. My model's African dresses have been reconfigured into Victorian gowns as a way of inverting the power index by the Victorian dress. Ver esta esta foto que fue seleccionada, empezás a encontrarte a través de la vestimenta y de la conexión entre la cámara y la, y la mirada que tiene directa la, la, la protagonista de la foto con el fotógrafo. I also bring forward old century poses as a way of allowing my models to assert their rightful place in history. I am deeply honored and grateful to have been chosen as the winner of the open competition. Thank you to everyone who has believed in me and a special thanks to the Sony World Photography Awards 2021. Since its inception, the Sony World Photography Awards has championed those who narrate, captivate and innovate. The professional competition represents the importance of the photographic project. Artists submit a body of work that responds to one of 10 categories. There were more than 145,000 series of photographs entered into this competition this year. And just 89 made it through to the long list. Each long-listed series is then rigorously judged by a panel of industry-leading experts for its narrative excellence, its technical skill, and its ability to explore creativity in new and exciting ways. Three series are then selected as finalists in each category. Intelligent, intense and revealing, the shortlisted and winning works continue to show how photography can teach us something new about the world and the great craftsmanship, talent and dedication needed to do just that. So now we're going to look at the fantastic work of the finalists in each category and discover just who the winner is. In the architecture and design category, judges wanted to see projects showcasing where art and science in buildings and structures meet. Subject matter could be wide ranging from structures and interiors to exteriors and urban landscapes. Photographers could depict their subject in a realistic light or through a more creative approach. Those who demonstrated understanding and appreciation of light, scale, angles, lines and design features went far in this year's competition. The shortlisted photographers are Gu Guanhui for his aerial images of construction sites in Zhejiang, China. Frank Machalowski for his abstract photographs of German architect Walter Gropius's houses. and Thomas Volchecker for his series about a former military complex turned pet crematorium. And the winner is Thomas Volchecker for Eternal Hunting Ground. The strongest moment for me was to see the soft ethereal glow coming from the minimalistic morning hall. That was the place where I realized how equal to us are pets in our minds. That link between design and spirit, almost like a modern church, beautifully captured with this story. 
It captured that sense of calm, peace and loss and also slight wit around it as well. It's the story about the paradox of loneliness in the crowded world because the closest and most loved partner for many people is a dog or a cat. But it's also the story about the amazing world where we could change the former Cold War army facilities into the pieces of the art and architecture. Good evening, dear friends. It's an honor and privilege to receive this amazing award. I would like to say thank you to the Sony World Photography Awards, to the old people who have supported me during my career, and especially to my fellow journalist Magdalena Metkova, who discovered the eternal hunting grounds for me. Thank you so much. In the creative category, works highlighting originality, experimentation and imagination garnered much attention by the judges. The creative use of photography in all its forms, from photograms to cutting-edge photographic techniques, went far. While a varied mix of subject matter was seen in this category, projects with a strong creative concept and thematic link between the images were favoured. Here are the three shortlisted photographers. Sasha Bauer, for her exploration of her family history in still life images. Luigi Bussolati, for his visual homage to a deceased relative. And Mark Hamilton Grucci, for his moon composites, referencing key moments in human history. And the winner is... Mark Hamilton Grucci, for the moon revisited. My father got me interested in the space program very early on. He was always crazy about these, the Mercury program, the Apollo program, and he'd take me outside to show me if a satellite was flying above or whatever. I've never really lost that interest. There's something that's always fascinated me. One of the aspects of Mark's work that I loved the most was his mix of humor as well as very serious topics all mixed together. Um, and that's, that's hard to do. And that was what was so exciting in such an innovative, creative way. I think it's a very simple messaging format that I came across sort of by accident. I'm really excited to receive this award. I'm absolutely delighted uh, to have got this. Thanks to NASA for allowing me to use these images and thank you to all of you people who encouraged me to keep going with this project. It really pushed me on and made this whole thing come to fruition. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you so much. For the documentary projects category, judges were looking for factual or informative bodies of work about a chosen subject. Projects that offered insight into a contemporary issue or presented a factual story with a news or current affairs agenda were liked by the judges. The shortlisted photographers are Craig Easton for his photographic investigation into the chronic nature of poverty. Vito Fusco for his focus on the pyrethrum flower known as nature's pesticide. and Lorenzo Tugnoli for his powerful documentation of the aftermath of the port explosion in Beirut. And the winner is Vito Fusco for The Killing Daisy. I came into this plant, the pyrethrum, that I never heard about. The production of organic insecticide and uh, Kenya was the biggest producer in the world. The jury was most drawn into Vito's project, first and foremost because of the, the pictures themselves. They were a mix of portraits and still lives and environmental pictures and documentary pictures and all together it told a story. The idea uh, behind this series of photos was to inform the world about this opportunity that this kind of uh, 
natural insecticide offer us. And also a way to, to inform the world about the stories of these farmers. I am very happy and proud to be one of the winners of uh, Sony World Photography 2021. And uh, what I can say to the judge and to the entire organization, uh, the only things that I can say is thanks, thanks, and thanks. In the environment category, judges were seeking series showcasing the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates. Work that had a fine art approach and that addressed environmental issues affecting the world today was applauded by the judging panel. The shortlisted photographers are as follows. Mohammed Madadi for his photographs of Avaz, Iran one of the world's most air-polluted cities. Antonio Perez for images that capture the effects of the rising sea level on the inhabitants of Fuvame, Ghana. Simone Tremonte for his looks at Iceland's successful transition into a net zero economy. And the winner is... Simone Tremonte for Net Zero Transition. Net Zero uh, nasce durante la pandemia, nasce durante il lockdown e è un momento in cui ho cercato di fermarmi un attimo, pensare, studiare e sviluppare un, magari un approccio diverso verso una, un tema che eh, non conoscevo così approfonditamente. Simon, he chose the subject matter quite brilliantly. He twisted the outlook of this time and transit our idea from what we have caused in a negative sense to what we can do new um, in this time to solve the problems. E il messaggio che volevo dare con questo lavoro è un messaggio positivo, un messaggio di speranza. I'm honored to receive the Sony World Photography Award and to be able to share this story with such a great audience. Thank you so much. The landscape category features projects that show spaces across the world in all their varieties. Everything from large-scale aerial shots to intimate views were entered into this category. Our judges focused on the aesthetic quality of the final images. The photographers they shortlisted are as follows. Majid Hajati for his poetic images of deserted structures set against Iran's landscapes. Andrea Ferro for his exploration of iconography as expressed in the political posters that dominate the urban landscapes of Tripoli, Lebanon. And Theodor Savinsev for his images of the volcanic belt in the Kamchatka Peninsula, Russia. And the winner is... Majid Hajati for Silent Neighbourhoods. داستان این مجموعه محله های سکوته که سکوت حاکم بر فضا رو نشون میده. I found Majid's series really interesting because it was landscape, but it was about the absence of people. Even though it was a very kind of traditional, dramatic viewpoint, it was very evocative and surreal because it was actually slightly subverting the idea of what landscape was because he was actually commenting on the absence of human life. I'm very happy that the majority of the people who work in Iran در بود جهانی دیده میشه سلام مجید حجتی هستم از کشور ایران خیلی خوشحالم که در بخش لندسکیپ برنده شدم با افتخار من هست که مجموع عکس من توسط سونی در تمام دنیا دیده بشه This portfolio category asks for images unrelated to each other in subject matter or narrative. Judges looked for high quality in each of the images and for the photographer's technical skills to be evident and consistent throughout their submission. The photographers shortlisted in the portfolio category are... 
Creative director Lolly Labaro for her vibrant portfolio of portraits and lively street scenes. Photojournalist Bryce Lorenzo for his documentation of events in and around his hometown of Arenz, Spain in 2020. And social documentarian Laura Panak for an evocative overview of her career. And the winner is Laura Panak for her portfolio overview. With each kind of project or with each picture that I take, I guess I really try and embrace vulnerability, immerse myself in the moment, and ultimately it has to be about play. I have to be enjoying what I'm doing. Laura has a great way of capturing emotion in her portraits. She uses the body language of the subject to evoke the emotion that the subject matter is feeling. Ideally, if I'm taking a portrait, I would love the connection that I have with the person that I'm photographing and that relationship just to be instantly kind of translated through to the person so they feel like they're looking at who I'm photographing and they're having their own connection. Thank you so much for this award. Um, sincerely, it really raised my spirits. Um, and uh, I know how much work goes into the awards, so thank you to everyone involved. Uh, thank you to the judges and um, congratulations to everyone. Um, I hope we can all celebrate soon. When making their selections in the portraiture category, our judges were looking for interesting, original, strong and evocative photographs. The category was intended to be interpreted in its widest sense. Judges wanted to see images demonstrating a likeness to the subject and convey expression, emotion and or personality. Here are the shortlisted photographers. Craig Easton for his examination of the representation and misrepresentation of communities in Northern England. Julia Fullerton Batten for photographs of her West London neighbours in their homes during lockdown. And Jane Hilton for her portraits of Las Vegas drag queen performers taken in the Nevada desert. And the winner is Craig Easton for Bank Top. It's a set of portraits and it comes about because everybody's got stories. Documentary photography for me is about that, it's about listening to people. The best portraiture often is about getting a sense of how they live. But Craig's work puts him in a situation that makes you understand the community they're from, so it's very, very human. The, the work we did in Bank Top, really it's about challenging one-dimensional portrayals of northern communities. It's also part of, of me learning about my own understanding. Hello, I'd like to say thank you to Sony, the World Photography Organisation and the judges for selecting this work. My collaborator and friend Aziz Hafiz, Sophie Skellen and Rebecca Johnson at Blackburn Museum. And finally, to all the people at Bank Top who welcomed me into their community and challenged me to make the best work that I could. For the sport category, our judges were looking for images that captured the intensity, emotions and action of the chosen sport subject. Whether capturing professional or amateur athletes, the focus could be on the sports person, the sport environment or the effort expended, but a strong narrative needed to be present. The photographers shortlisted by our judges are Anas al Kabutli for his moving images of a karate school for children in Syria. Patrick Meinhardt for his photographs of athletes taking part in the Iron Fit bodybuilding competition in Nairobi, Kenya. And Farzam Saleh for images of Iranian athletes practicing on rooftops during the pandemic. And the winner is Anas Al Kabutli for sport and fun instead of war and fear. 
بدأت بتصوير قصة عندما كنت في زيارة لأحد مدارس ذوي الاحتياجات الخاصة لفتت نظري قصة المدرب وسيم والانسجام والسعادة الذي لاحظته على وجوه الأطفال هناك Clearly, he's really considered where he is when he's taking these photographs. If you look at the sight lines, the, the doors, the mats on the floor, it's all very, very carefully considered. But equally, he's managed to capture the sense of movement. I try to focus on the human beings, on the children, because they are the biggest victims of this war. I try to focus on their stories and to bring another side to life here, away from the القصف والقتل والحصار والتهجير I'd like to thank the DBA Middle East Office and thank Sony for giving me this because it means so much to me Often a group or an arrangement of objects, still life typically depicts inanimate subject matters. Submissions could be classic or innovative. Judges closely considered the interpretation of the subject, composition, lighting and framing, when viewing the work. Here are the shortlisted photographers. Peter Elveld for his black and white still lifes using a centuries old photography technique. Alessandro Polio for his visual investigation of his domestic environment during lockdown. And Paloma Rincon for her vibrant homage to her Mexican heritage. And the winner is Peter Elveld for still life composition shot on wet plate. Now I'm actually back to, to, to square one, which is done in the analog photography. It, it's a process from 1851, and I really like that. It... Peter's photographs stood out for me simply because they're beautiful. They're really a stunning series of images. What I really liked about them was the fact that although it's a very traditional process, they really looked very contemporary. The red plate is really interesting because you never really know what's going to happen something is going to happen and that's the exciting bit. Hello, I'm extremely honoured to be receiving such an important award and I'm grateful for the recognition of my wet plate photography. Thank you very much. For the wildlife and nature category, our judges were looking for artistic images of our natural, physical or material world, where animals or nature were the focus. Compelling compositions showing the spirit and behaviour of wildlife around the planet appealed to the jury. Macro and close-up photographs of the plants and insects that often go unnoticed were also welcomed in this category. Here are the shortlisted photographers. Ankel Fittor for his photographic essay exploring life inside drops of seawater. Graham Purdy for his fierce and majestic images of wild animals. And Louis Tato for his arresting documentation of a destructive infestation of desert locusts across East Africa. And the winner is... Louis Tato, the locust invasion in East Africa. The year 2020, with all the confusion with the global pandemic, there was this very interesting thing happening in East Africa, where a big invasion of locusts came to the country. And I found it uh, quite interesting because we were actually defining the world we are living nowadays. That was the pandemic, had an impact, and also climate change. Lewis has engaged brilliantly with the locust swarm story. He's obviously seen it as a human story, and a nature story, and with sympathy for the people who, who live there, but also a sort of awe of the actual size of the swarms. I think it's important for us to understand how globally we are all interconnected in this big challenge that is climate change. 
I'm deeply humbled to receive this recognition uh, while sharing stories about some of the challenges our natural world is facing. Sony World Photography Award has been a source of inspiration to me for many years. And I hope this award is an opportunity to inspire some people in the future the same way I was inspired before. Thank you. The Outstanding Contribution to Photography Award honours a person or a group of people that have made a significant impact on the photographic medium. Previous iconic recipients include William Eggleston, Mary Ellen Mark, Martin Parr, Candida Hoffer and Nadav Kander. This year, the accolade is awarded to the venerated Mexican artist, Graciela Itor Bidet. Itor Bidet is widely recognised as Latin America's greatest living photographer. Spanning five decades, her work offers a photographic account of Mexico since the late 1970s and is celebrated for its defining contribution to the country's visual identity. Yo fotografío lo que realmente me, me produce una emoción y es cuando ap ap aprieto el gatillo de la cámara, pero solamente cuando tengo esta sorpresa y esta emoción. Eh, México es mi país, la fotografía ha sido un pretexto para poderlo conocer bien, para conocer su cultura, para estar cerca más de la gente. Hablar de Graciela Iturbide es hablar de la fotografía latinoamericana, es un ícono, un ícono de, de nuestra fotografía, es una representante inigualable, diría, para mí es la, una de las mejores fotógrafas que tiene el continente en esa, en esa cuestión. Es una mujer con una sensibilidad distinta, diferente, que a lo largo de su carrera... Creo que soy muy egoísta. Tomo las fotos para mí misma. Nunca pienso si las voy a exponer, si voy a hacer un libro, si qué va a pensar la gente de ellas. Evidentemente que cuando tengo buenas opiniones me da gusto, pero cuando salgo a fotografiar Solamente pienso en mí eh, y en mi comunicación con la vida. Our final award is Photographer of the Year. With this prestigious award, the World Photography Organization and Sony pay tribute to photographers striving for excellence in every facet of their practice. By putting those who belong center stage, the Photographer of the Year title establishes the finest photographers of our time. The winner is selected out of the professional competition 10 category winners. To announce this award, please may I introduce Scott Gray, the founder and CEO of the World Photography Organization. Needless to say, it has been a challenging year for so many. Artists and photographers are no exception to that, as they have faced the challenge of developing their own personal projects. At a time when travel, social restrictions and lockdowns have hindered or outright cancelled our access to people and places, it is the skill, inventiveness and dedication of these photographers that have kept a window open onto our world. You've seen a small glimpse of their work here, from local stories to global issues, quiet moments of resilience to creative brilliance. These unique perspectives on the stories and spaces around us show the inimitable style and substance of photography and provide a real insight into the state of contemporary photography today. As photographers, artists and creators pursue new avenues for inspiration, it is our responsibility and pleasure at the World Photography Organization to not only provide a platform on which this global community of artists can come together, but to also bring you their work and to showcase their talents. This year, for example, we had our first open winner from Africa. The continent is so incredibly rich in artistic talent, and it is so important that talent, all talent, is seen by the wider world, and these awards enable us to do that. I would like to therefore extend our immense gratitude to everyone involved, all the photographers, artists, curators, judges, and of course Sony, 
who help us support the originality, development and appreciation of photography and enable us to really celebrate superb photographers. With that in mind, I'd like to announce the winner and recipient of the 2021 Sony World Photography Awards. This year's Photographer of the Year is the esteemed Scottish documentarian Craig Easton for Bangkok. Thanks, Scott. Banktop, a collaboration with writer and academic Abdul Aziz Hafiz, examines the representation and misrepresentation of communities in Northern England, focusing on a tight-knit neighbourhood in Blackburn. Through a series of nuanced and thoughtful black and white portraits, the projects use stories and experiences in Banktop to address wider issues around social deprivation, housing, unemployment, immigration and representation, as well as the impact of past and present foreign policy. I've been working in and around Northern England and, and the representation of Northern communities for a long time. I've been a photographer for 30 years and I, I came to photography through an interest in, in sort of current affairs and, and uh, news. Craig shot everything in black and white, but he also infused everything with these very warm tones. So there was a sense of a very traditional black and white portrait, but with this very kind of fresh approach. All the subjects in his photos were seemingly made in quite a slow tempo. So the subjects, they gaze at the camera and they pose for an image. So all the images are so classical and grounded. So for me, photography was always about documenting society. I mean, I see myself as much as a sort of historian, as a photographer. I'm, I'm making work that will be looked at in generations to come, I hope. Winning the Sony World Photography Awards is, is a great honour and it's a great honour to be um, spoken about in the same breath as, as those other photographers whose work I really admire. I feel overwhelmed um, and I feel overwhelmed because these stories are so important to tell. Northern Britain is the absolute epicentre of Britain's wealth from the Industrial Revolution and the fallout of that and the colonial project and all of those things are all evident here now and these stories need telling um, and so I'm just absolutely delighted that, that this allows me to tell the story. Congratulations to Craig Easton for winning Photographer of the Year. This award leads to international acclaim, a generous reward of 25,000 US dollars and Sony digital imaging equipment. A huge, huge well done. Congratulations to all of the winners. What a journey and what inspirational and fantastic work we've seen. If you would like to find out more about the work of the photographers in this competition, the Sony World Photography Awards have produced a special documentary called A Year in Photos. It's filmed in 12 countries and across five continents. It can be viewed at worldphoto.org. And worldphoto.org is also the place to find out how to enter the 2022 competition. We really look forward to seeing your work next year. But for this year, it's goodbye.